in 1883 in Paris, several of the leading scientists, researchers, authors, sort of savants of that time period came together and they founded the Alliance Francaise Network. And so the mission of the Alliance Francaise is to promote the French language and French speaking cultures from around the world. So not only France, but French speaking parts of North America, Africa, Asia, um, other parts of Europe, um, South America. Uh, French is one of the only languages that's spoken on every continent. And so the Alliance Française started in the U.S. in San Francisco and uh, has grown to over 100 chapters today. And here in Minneapolis, we're uh, one of the top five Alliance Française in the country. Braden, thanks for hosting us here today. Joe and I had a cup of coffee downstairs. We thought we would check out all that this building has to offer. Maybe you can pronounce it better than I can, where we are and your role here with, uh, yeah. with uh, Alliance Francaise. Yeah, well, bienvenue again to the Alliance Francaise. My name is Braden. I'm the administrative coordinator here. Um, and we're in the Valor Gallery right now. Um, this is our art gallery that we try to uh, switch out with artists about every month. That's the one that caught my eye. Yeah. Get away from the snakes. And maybe a fire I see that too. Well, something that comes to my mind when I think of French culture is French food. I mean, how can you not? French food, French wine, all of it. Um, yeah, so we have this beautiful teaching kitchen here. Um, we've been welcoming in our members and some local chefs and so we always have the teacher here doing their thing cooking and we try to have it a nice participatory sort of cooking class where the students will be a part of the preparation, cutting stuff up and then they soon we're going to have a big mirror up top here so that when students are back here and the chef is cooking they can like, see all the techniques, you know, all those fancy French things. <laughs> Braden's taking us right into their library here. Why yes. don't you explain kind of what's going on? Yeah, this is our Chi Chi Steiner family library, um, a longtime supporter. Uh, so we dedicated the library after her. We have all these French materials. They're a lot um, donated to us. So we really uh, rely on our community. And our library is open to our members. Uh, video materials, audio materials, they're all available to our members to rent, check out, read some books improve their vocabulary. Seems like your speed. Is this Clifford the Big Red Dog? Exactly. I don't speak Under French. Under a different name read. though, Bertrand. <laughs> so this is our big event space. It's called La Grande Salle, meaning the big room, <laughs> quite simply. Um, we host a variety of events in this space. As you see, we have this screen here. So we host a cine club, our cinema club. That happens once a month, every Friday. And in addition, we have this beautiful garage door. So it opens up, it allows us to, you know, bring nature in and for our big celebration coming up on July 14th, Bastille Day. It's like the big celebration in France of the storming of the Bastille, which sparked the French Revolution. We're gonna have a big market outside and uh, mu musicians in here. So there's gonna be a lot of foot traffic around here. The Alliance Francaise of Minneapolis-St. Paul offers 150 cultural events a year. We bring together over 5,000 people at those events. You don't have to speak French or be a native French speaker from a French-speaking country to come to those events. Uh, if you're interested in wine, we have a wine club and we do wine tastings. If you're interested in food, we do cooking classes in English, but of French recipes or, or traditional recipes from French cultures around the world. Uh, if your children are interested in attending an immersion school or you maybe studied French in high school or college and want to get back into it, we have classes for adults and children of all levels. So there really is something for everyone. Mm -hmm.